What's up? What's up? Oh yes, we got those. Donuts, yes, yes. Okay. Alright guys. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the channel and welcome to the show. All right, guys. This Friday. Make sure you subscribe in five, four, three, two, one, and subscribe. Let's go, guys. Listen, what a day. What a week. It's Friday in the birdhouse. Another busy one. Another busy one, guys. Um, wow, you see how fast time flies? Look, we're back off of Disney a week now, being back tomorrow a week. You know, it, American, flag. American flag, baby, American flag. stars and bars. Can we get a uh, pledge of allegiance saying they got there? You go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. We're affirmation. Ready? Set? Go. Yeah. I am perfectly powerful. I am beautiful. American, black, and proud. I am graceful and kind. I am fierce. I can do all things. I can do anything. As there's only one incredible me. I am Isabella J. Bird. And I am Michaela Bird. Michaela Claire Bird. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I see. Good work, girls. That was great. I like that. Um, yeah, listen, guys, stars and bars, stars and stripes is all about America. Guys, we gotta protect our country. We gotta preserve what we have. Um you know, it's good to be educated, too. That's why we're sending the girls to great education, because it's nothing like a great education. And, and part of a great education is being grateful, right? Being grateful for what you have and, and what you've been blessed with. And in order to know that, you need to know something. And this country is the greatest country in the world. Stars and bars, baby. Uh, stars and stripes. Listen. We love our country, we love our uh, allegiance, uh, Pledge of Allegiance, we love our anthem. Show your allegiance though. How do you show your allegiance? Uh, I ask you that. Leave in the comments below right now. How do you show your allegiance? We'll talk about that on Monday. I'm gonna be asking you about that on Monday, guys. But today's Friday. We wanna talk about the glorious day that it is and just getting off of Disney and just getting off of uh, a, a week back from spring break, right? Like. Guys, parents, kids, I, you can understand the same way. Listen, being a kid is tough too, right? Sure, being a parent is tough, but being a kid is tough because there's a lot to juggle, there's a lot to handle. Spring break may be all fun and games, but it's just as tough for kids getting back to school after spring break as it is for parents getting back to it, whether it's work or getting the kids back to school, whatever you're doing. But the, the break was fun. These girls have responded to it. They rose to the challenge of a 24 hour drive getting back to school, doing all their activities. Kayla's in Girls on the Run. How was Girls on the Run yesterday, little girl? Great. Yeah? yeah? All right, so what are we doing in Girls on the Run? Are we training for something? A 5K. Wow, listen guys, anybody that does a little bit of running. <sighs> um, hold on, hold on, someone's driving weird. Listen, guys, a 5K, anyone that's done a little bit of running, if you have, and this girl, she's nine years old. I, I didn't run a 5K until I was, well, until the pandemic. <laughs> it was, a, I was probably, what, 38? I was 38 during the pandemic. The point I'm trying to make is 5K is about three miles. Now, we don't use the metric system. 5K is measuring distance in kilometers or in meters. And that's part of the metric system. So we in America we use miles. I like it. I like both. I like knowing how to speak both. It's helpful. But a 5k translates to about three miles. 
it's 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 not easy for the human body to run uh three miles all right you have to train your body to do that you have to train your body to run three miles oh uh, that's not something that you can just hop up and do or you're gonna hurt yourself and for a kid it helps them so much because that's why i love girls on the run for michaela because it helps them so much in the way of understanding their capabilities. I think running is instructive in that way that running helps you stretch your mind. It helps you understand what you can train to do. And that's important for anybody, boy or a girl, man or a woman, adult or a kid. You have to understand what you can do, what your body, what you are capable of. And when you start running on your three mile journey, at first it feels like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. I am not even gonna be able to make it up this hill or wherever you're going, right? But then you do, and then you keep going. And you're like, wow, I'm getting tired. I'm not gonna be able to do this. And then you do. And then you know what you prove to yourself? You prove to yourself that you can do something. You prove to yourself that you can train for something. You prove to yourself that you can accomplish something that you set your mind to. That's why I love running and that's why I love girls on the run because it's important for everyone. I always talk about boys and girls. Now that I have a little boy, I'm very happy because now we get to talk to boys and girls, right? But the thing is, it's more important for girls. It's just as important for boys, but it's more important for girls to understand what they're capable of, right? Because in the old days, girls didn't test their abilities. They didn't have all the sports and things. Now they do. Now they go play. It's just good, right? But you also need to learn how to do that. And running is a great way to do that. So when you run a 5K, it's a notch on your belt in the way of knowing that you can train, knowing that you can accomplish something that seems hard, that is hard. Your body doesn't want to run 5, 5, uh, 5K. Your brain does not want you to do it. So, but you can and it's fun to do. My point I'm trying to make is when you get started on whether when you get started on running the 5K or when you're finished running the 5K, your body is going to be in a state of exhaustion. Now, sure, if you've trained up and you can run much longer distances, a 5K will feel like a, a warm up, if you will, but still running three miles straight at a good clip. When I say a good clip, I mean a good speed is taxing on your body no matter who you are. So that's the training regimen or that's the training uh, uh, that you do to train your body to do that. So I'm very happy for Michaela. We got right back to it, digressing just a bit, but we were on our Disney trip. We uh, got back and uh, we got right to it. Tuesday, we had girls on a run. Same thing with uh, running. The reason why I like running the most is because it's very much a immediate feedback loop that you get. Did you finish the race? How fast did you go? Those are all measurables, right? Basketball also is a nice way to establish and gain confidence that you can do something, but it's many, it's more, it's more of what we call teaching the girls something they learn in school, more complex, right? Complex means composing of more than one part. So basketball, in order to understand if you're doing well, first of all, you gotta learn the basics, right? Then you gotta go and apply the basics. Then you gotta go play other teams, and then you see if you win or lose. That's kind of a long process, and that's not, no problem. But what I'm saying is running is a great way to say or do a thing. I ran this distance in this time. They're measurable, easy, and you don't need anything to run. You just need your feet and you get going, right? So we did that. We had dance on Wednesday, guys. We got dance tonight. So um, we got a lot going on. I had a meeting last night. Uh, we, we got, uh, there's bingo night at the school. We can't make it. It's just a lot happening, guys. I'm up at 5 a.m. every morning. And if it's if I sleep later, it's because I stayed up later. Um, but we are up in Adam every day. Bella, Bella's only in first grade, believe it or not, guys. It feels like we've had Bella for uh, ages. Um, and and uh, it's amazing that she's only in first grade. Little girl's going to be seven next week. Go, Bella! Happy birthday! <laughs> Woo! Hey, Bella. Is it your birthday week? Coming up. Next week is your birthday week. Well, actually, yeah, since her birthday is on Sunday, we'll say this Sunday starts your birthday week. But technically, see, that's why we like celebrating Bella's birthday in May because 
Bella's birthday week since her week starts on Sunday. Actually starts on her birthday. But the week leading up to her birthday starts on Sunday. So here we are guys, Bella's birthday. Bella's finally turning seven. Bella's birthday takes the longest time to come. We should set some goals to accomplish by Bella's birthday. I think we'll be so far ahead of our goals. But no, um, we're off to school. It's Friday uh, morning. Feeling really good, guys. I am feeling amazing. Um, the weather is beautiful. It's already 53 degrees outside. Bella, you're our weather girl. Can you give us an update? Um, so this afternoon is going to be... Uh... 85 degrees, so it's going to be very hot, so you don't really need Awesome. Thank okay. you. Other girl, Bella. Listen, we love Bella so much because Bella just goes after the things she wants. She started seeing the weather on TV, and she started seeing her favorite meteorologist, Brittany Ship, on TV, and just said, yo, I want to do the weather. And she just started doing it. Look, that was great. That was so good already. Look. And, and guess what? You can get your weather updates right here from uh, Bella Beautiful, uh, Lemoncella Bella. And, and it's amazing. So yes, it's a beautiful day. It's Friday. Go enjoy it with your family. Go enjoy it with your friends. Get outside on the water and go run. Do something, right? Get outside. Get fit. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your days. Enjoy these beautiful ones, too, because guess what? Living up here in Philadelphia, we get all sorts of weather. We get rain, we get snow, we get sub-freezing temperatures. That's why I love the springtime in this area because it actually is a feeling of new beginnings because we just went through like five months of cold and just in the house being cold. Um, so here we are on the precipice of Bella's birthday, on the precipice of a of a big weekend um you know it's not as big as a weekend as uh, some of our other weekends but you know bella's got soccer cat mommy's got a um a, a meeting uh, or something going on we got uh what else we got going on tomorrow dance for bella right I don't know. what you got going on Why don't you walk around your house in your room and pick up trash? Oh, I'll do that first. That's the stuff that. That's the like that. I love it. That day's on Sunday. No, it's on Saturday. It's on Saturday. <sighs> I was unaware that we were uh, approaching Earth Day in the first place, so start, start with me. Alright, uh, Daddy, you have the phone. Why is Earth Day? Oh, she told me to go look at, go check Google, basically. Google I know I'm correct. correct. I just know I'm correct. I just know I'm correct. Google says 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 I'm correct. Saturday, April 22nd. Okay, so true. that would be tomorrow. That would make Michaela correct. All right. <laughs> they love what I say. They love what I say. Listen, guys, it's Friday, guys. It's Friday. It's a good day. We're out here. And we're getting Wendy's after school. Um, are Who said all that? Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she has a um, Wendy's gift card. Uh, Look, show it to the Touch it. Okay. So I was 
so I was making lunch today. I was getting like fruit, I was getting strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, some yogurt pouches. Um, Daddy Robot was getting um, <laughs> roll up, like some fruit roll ups. And what'd you need the robot for? <laughs> I couldn't reach up. The long arm robot. It was, a, it was the robot with the long arms. That's yeah. what I am. I am the robot with the long arms. Uh, so then I kept going in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> then I kept going in the fridge. And the fridge kept beeping at me. I'm like, calm down. I'm and just getting some the, fruit. The fridge is also Stop being so dramatic. <laughs> okay? Now so, yeah, yeah, I'm just making some lunch. Be like, no! Close me! Please, please. It's way too warm out here. I want to be cold. Fridge. And I kept saying, fridge, stop being so dramatic. Mm. It's not going to get and be patient warm in there. And be patient too. It's not going to get warm. It's going to get cold. Besides, it's cold in the mornings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, it is cold. Well, I know. Um, I knew that, so I'm a weather girl too, not just you. Hey guys, I'll tell the weather. Today. No, 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 no. I already tell the weather. It will be. Oh, all right. 45 or 50 degrees. Okay. You might need a sweater like me. You will need a sweater, but not like afternoon. Bella. But in the afternoon, you will need nothing on you. But a That's shirt, have, just so you nothing know. On me. You, if you have school, oh, and if you have, if you are still on your spring break, spring break, then get in the pool and hang out. Get Thanks for watching. Michaela makes magic, or can I say, Michaela makes the weather? No, Bella, <laughs> Bella B, Lemoncella <laughs> makes the weather. Only girl. Oh. <laughs> Michaela makes the weather. No. Bella and Michaela makes the weather. Don't y'all both leave. Both she won't agree with me. No. Uh, if you tell the people that it's going to be so warm out That's why you hit That's why NBC says they're the most the accurate person. Everyone's going to wear a coat and take off their coat. Ah, so warm. <laughs> Bella and Michaela makes the weather. Oh, and they're going to get cold. Like, I'm so chilly. I have to wait for the afternoon. I can't believe I waited. I listened to that girl, Bella. That girl, Bella. You mean Michaela. <laughs> oh, it's so chilly. You That's what that. I say, people. Wear a sweater. Not too big. Just a little one. Always wear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Always wear something in the morning and at night. Of course, it will be at your house. But if you are out of vacation, <laughs> and the they do like Bella said, don't just take off your sweater. Don't wear nothing but a shirt. Not long you sleeves. You need to wear nothing every single day. So even mean, in so, the so you mean that you can't wear a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> nothing every single Not day. Not even pants. Not even panties. <laughs> All right, girls, we're pulling in. Okay. You're chuckling too. You just chuckle. Hey, Mr. Ronald, how are you? He's my coach. Great. Hi, Coach Dan. <laughs> Good. Fantastic. Great time. Beautiful. Lovely. No, we can't make it. Kay's got dance. 
Yeah, see ya. I can't believe I'm not going to bingo. Well, I am. No, you're not. Dude, thanks, Mr. Murray. 